I got a G. One of a skills that are confusing for a lot of players. Hello, my babies. This is Abba here, and welcome to another video of RuneScape 3 Skill Talk. I want to talk about a skill that's kind of confusing after all, and that is actually archaeology. Archaeology is a skill where you just do a bunch of digging in different kinds of dig sites. Sites, and the thing about being confusing is you have to go to each level. You unlock a new area to dig in a, in a different dig site. It's never the same. It's always uh, different. It's which is kind of. Uh, unique actually it's not the I wouldn't say it's perfect if I would ever say it was actually, actually unique after all but when you unlock certain things say you unlock, say if you saw level one or level five actually you get to unlock the first six sites current and then you move on all the way until you hit low 20 we get a final sauce souls souls and I believe at level past that is like ever light for 42 2 and it's more self returning when you reach the until you reach low 90 we have to do the switch rule every every level. So, uh, say you hit level 90, the first, you lock the ultra Oaken dig site, which is actually an aquarium. Then at 91, you go, you go to the um, current dig site. And actually go to Stone Guard when I say I thought you say I thought you go to the current but Stone Guard actually. So then you go to Everlight. Light. This is the yeah, Cameron. Then you go to Wall Forge at 94. Stone Guard, Sindel at 95, and so on. You get a point. I it's actually kind of confusing thing and I'm realizing that at I can be hard to make a skill guide for it when the time comes like when I get uh, 99 I got G. G anyway I just want you to let you know uh, what's going on yeah and then Goblin tracing, okay. So right here. So honestly, the archaeology is confusing. Indeed. So another thing they have is actually the collection information. Go here. This is kind. Of, this is a little confusing. A little, not not so much. Just a little. Oh, if you go to each collector, that you have to collect artifacts. X, you must. Go to these guys. They have a wide level to be finished with them, and and a, some of them, some of them are past level ninety nine. Some of them are above, uh, below level ninety nine. And so it's like a fifty fifty percent percent chance you can actually get these done. No, I gotta say. But the good news is, if you do finish a collection log, you get you can get actually photos or certain pieces for for your archaeology skill, and you can also get a certain like a perk. I think it's like a certain power uh, that you un that you unlock that allows you to use for yourself in in game Meh. so yeah is it is it worth it honestly yes actually
Lashley because you get because you get to use your certain power to unlock a lot of abilities and ways to survive in, in game much longer. Good. Yeah. And you want to actually not lose. Like you lose your chance to do it. Definitely. Right. Anyway. Hey, I just wanted to get back to the collection information. When you get, let's say you want to do a certain artifact you got to collect, because a lot of artifacts actually cost materials to do that, and it's in, you can do that, that's pretty easy to do. All you have to do is just dig sites, uh, researching, or you can buy them at the Grand Exchange, it's really up to you. You, but it's mainly the, the the artifacts that you need the most. Okay, see this Nicolium focus? The, this book actually. You need six of these books to actually put them into collection lock into the, um, the collectors around Gyrnold. And as far as the only one that's actually the highest. Some of them are two, some of them are four or five, maybe sometimes there are three, three of them you got to uh, repair. Yeah, but this one has six you must actually collect and then repair them because the artifacts come out damaged actually. So yeah, one thing that's actually kind of confusing is, let's go back to the book again, is, it, is actually the mysteries. So the mysteries is like something original and uh, so dang, oh yeah, this is actually what we're talking about the powers, the relic powers actually. Anyway, uh, let me go back, let me go to the mysteries, this one, yes, the easy one. So these are actually the mysteries you can actually uncover or go through it's really up to you you and so but they are actually kind of uh, interesting in how to how they works uh, at all but one of the confusing mysteries is actually I think it's this one Is Zamak mysteries. So when you get the end beat of uh, the mystery, you have to do actually really do this: the contract clause, and then just doing buy, right? And that unlocks and actually unlocks contracts summoning a and D so where you use the contract pouches to actually capture any monster in the, in the game order at all. But you can get it, actually capture a Weaver Demon or Abyssal or Demons, whatever works for you is fine. Then I think it's the based on Slayer monsters you have to slay, so that's how it works. But this is actually kind of uh, confusing and how you do it, because it involves a lot of them, and, it, and especially the materials you need to gather so I think yeah one I think one of them are pretty long this one I think it is Zerin is actually the, the long it's actually a pretty long one Sandorium it's not too long I think this is actually probably the shortest one. Same thing in this one too. It's not too long either. The, but you really want to like, um, you don't want to get confused to yourself. Self when you, when you're doing these mysteries out out of the gate, especially. Do I have it? Here, Jaiken. 
Mystery. This is actually brand new. Because they, they just launched a new dick site in Demon Hide. And you can actually do Dragon Mysteries uh, at low level instead of doing a high level level in DSO. So, yeah. But you, get, you, but you actually get a point that why archaeology is actually pretty confusing in DSO. So, so, yeah. If I want to talk about anything else about it, it could be um, unique. But it, has, but it also has some good sides to it at all. Look, one thing I do want to talk about is this. And actually, this is the last one for archaeology. He is when you go to tab relics. So, you know, that there are different kinds of relics you actually can collect and actually resort to make your character a lot better. Some of them are good and some of them are bad. That I'm Oh, this one is good actually. The model is okay. Here you, it's a very of a small bag. All into this finish. I have to get the basic value to extremely one plus motivation. That's not that's actually uh, pretty good. But yes, like I said, some are good, some are bad. But you really want to like choose. So the ones you actually want to want to put in your, in your character after all, look, you can only choose three relics powers at in these so. So if I'm going to skilling, I would choose one of the skills that actually kind of kind of hard to take on, like farming is actually a Hard skill you can actually want to use a full like power after all. But if you were going through combat, you maybe use a, like a chance of luck with the hand of glory, glory, and then also use use some combat for like powers. Powers. There's a there's a low level one here. Is this one? Broken man mento. This one gives you. A deal up a five a five point five plus damage, and when your current health point is below max, after all, so it works all styles actually. And berserk fairy is actually a way to deal a lot of damage to enemies, after all. Oh, but and if you're training. Uh, wound crafting, and this is actually a lot helpful. Use the th thread of the bait to ask your wound pouches never degrade. That's actually a really good one. Abyssal gate, gate stone is actually quite good too, because this one allows you to teleport to the abyss right back in the middle. Oh, actually, there's no way you have to go through those. Um, t tunnels in the abyss. Just use this artifact and you're you right in the center of it. And so those two are really good for wound crafting uh, lines. And, and then you're welcome to use this the Argo well string. It's up to you. It, it doesn't, it's not a, a very important. Maybe you want, maybe if you're doing quests or Blue scrolls, scrolls you, we, you would actually do use this, the Argo Wellspring, because it actually would no longer drains any one energy. See? So that'd be good for quests and blue scrolls after all. But this one is actually kind of good too. This is what I'm talking about the, the farming. The Boonstone is your herb and Mushroom pouches no longer become disease. That's actually very quite useful in these cells. So, 
This one is com it's actually combat. Five plus damage reduced when your life points is below 50% and 50% when when your when your health is actually below 25%. So that's actually that's actually pretty good for for combat. So you get, so you actually get the point of these relics. Actually, they are actually very useful to make archaeology um, very fun and or confusing. To it's up to you to think so. But there you have it. It that's the reason of actually. After all, I thought I wanted to say about this skill, but and I think I I remember enough about it. So I'm going to leave the video here. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll get something better after all in this so. Oh, so, so. Uh. Do subscribe to the channel to join T variants. Do follow me on all my social media accounts, and I'll see you next time. Bye.